As the upstate becomes home to more people, that means more cars are using our roads. Leaders in both Spartanburg and Greenville counties are looking for ways to improve the safety and quality of the areas we travel the most. Well, Fox County's Kenny Harris tells us how a penny might be the solution. Much like with my nose being bandaged up, when my doctor said, you needed to treat this, this was a serious problem. We've got a serious problem in Spartanburg County with our roads. Councilman David Britt says Spartanburg's roads need more than just a band-aid. They need a plan to fix them. How are we going to come up with $500 million to fix the roads um, and get them to a safe shape? And one of the tools that, that was presented to us is the penny sales tax. Britt says Spartanburg's current penny tax, which paid for the new courthouse and other government buildings, is proof that it works. But that ends in April of 2024, so leaders are considering putting another tax on the ballot this year. 30% of that tax is paid for from people outside of Spartanburg County. The councilman says this time he'd like for the profit to only go to roads. If Spartanburg does move forward with another penny tax referendum, Councilman Britt says they'll target roads that need the most work and get the most traffic. That includes paving, widening, traffic flow, and safety improvements. Things Greenville says it needs too. The roads are horrible. Councilman Enos Fant says Greenville tried a penny tax back in 2014, but voters shut it down because it didn't exempt medicine and groceries from being taxed. Even though the county recently increased the road maintenance fee to $25, there needs to be more. Do we raise the maintenance fee, which nobody likes already? Do we increase millage? which nobody likes, uh, or do we look at another option? Greenville County needs billions of dollars over the next decade. That's why a penny tax is an option for here too. What we don't have the option to do is nothing, because doing nothing is why we're in the situation we're in. Kennedy Harris, Fox Carolina News.